Salut in Palestine, the Mamluk army met the Mongols in battle. It was a decisive victory for the Muslims. The Mamluks had saved the Muslim world, and their tenuous legitimacy was about to be strengthened. There was a member of the Abbasid family who managed to escape from the slaughter in Baghdad and make his way to Cairo, where the Mamluks of Egypt subsequently recognized his descendants as caliphs in Cairo and derived their legitimacy from this kind of shadow or puppet caliphate. Bolstered by the caliph's endorsement, in 1291, the Mamluks put an end to two centuries of Christian crusades. Acre, the last crusader fortress on the Mediterranean, was captured. Meanwhile, in Anatolia, a new Muslim power was on the rise. A power which would carry the banner of Islam to the gates of Constantinople. In 629, during the life of the Prophet Muhammad, the first ever battle between Muslims and Byzantines took place here in Mu'ta, southern Jordan. The fight ended with the Muslims defeated and their withdrawal to Medina. But the setback would be temporary. The great prize of Constantinople still beckoned. Zira İstanbul denildiğinde Akla Peygamber Efendimiz ve onun meşhur fetih hadisi geliyor. Letüftehanne Konstantiniye ve lenimel emiri emiruha ve lenimel ceyş zalikel ceyş. Bütün İslam hükümdarlarının temel gayesi İstanbul'u fetihti. If you read Arab geographers of the 10th and 11th century Constantinople is described as the apple the ultimate prize that someday Muslims will win and often the taking of Constantinople is presented in almost apocalyptic terms as something that will bring on the final victory of Islam. That final victory would fall to the Ottomans, a Turkic Muslim tribe that had emigrated from Central Asia to settle in Anatolia. Fatih Sultan Mehmed'e geldiği zaman artık bütün şartlar maddi manevi ve Fatih Sultan Mehmed de bütün idealini İstanbul üzerine kurdu. Ve ya İstanbul beni alır ya ben İstanbul'u alırım. In April 1453, Mehmed's army laid siege to the great city. Seven weeks later, the Ottomans battled their way into Constantinople. And as the victorious Sultan entered the city through this gate, an 800-year-old prophecy had come to pass. The symbolic importance was known to Muslims and also for European Christians. Suddenly, one of the major capitals of Christendom had become a Muslim. But just as they tasted the fruits of victory, at the far end of the Mediterranean, 800 years of Muslim civilization was about to come crashing down. The 
Alhambra, a Muslim citadel and palace. One of Spain's most famous monuments. For more than two and a half centuries, this palace in Granada was the seat of the Nasrids, the last Muslim dynasty in the Iberian Peninsula. La Alhambra se hace ya cuando queda un pequeño reino nazarí que ocupa solo el sureste de la península, ya no tenía el poderío de, del califato de Córdoba, pero sin embargo se consigue una arquitectura eh, que con materiales pobres eh, da unos resultados de una gran belleza. In the early 8th century, Muslims conquered most of the Iberian Peninsula, the province they called Andalusia. But the conquering army was unable to drive home their success. The remnants of the former rulers, the Visigoths, took shelter in the mountains in the north. هذه الغلطة غلطة عدم متابعة فلول القوط الغربيون في شمال إسبانيا. العرب لم يكونوا على دراية كاملة بتضاريس الغرب الإسلام. The mountains of northern Spain would become the cradle of new Christian kingdoms. Kingdoms that would start a holy war, La Reconquista, to reconquer the Iberian Peninsula and end what they saw as Muslim occupation. كانت هناك صحوة وكان هناك دعم ديني ورمزي للجيوش التي كانت تقاتل في في إسبانيا وكذلك كان الأندلس يعني ينخرها نوع من الفساد نوع من العنصرية نوع من الصراعات حول الحكم نوع من الصراعات الإثنية. In 1031, after the fall of the Umayyad Caliphate of Cordoba, Andalusia broke up into several. minor city-states, easy prey for the Christian kingdoms. Help was needed from across the Mediterranean. Morocco. Founded in the 11th century as capital of the Morovids. This Berber dynasty and its successor, the Almohads, crossed the sea to Andalusia to confront the threat from the Spanish Christian kingdoms. <laughs> بصداقية أو شرعية الدولة تتحدث بماذا تجلد المغاربة والدولة الموحدة في نجدة إخواننا المسلمين في بلاد أندلس والسلطان أو الحاكم الذي لا يتحمل مسؤوليته الجهادية في الدفاع عن إخواننا في بلاد الأندلس تصبح شرعيته موضع تساؤل For more than a century the Reconquista was held at bay until the year 1212, when the Christian kingdoms of Castile, Navarre, Aragon, and Portugal united against the Mwahids. <laughs> 